two lovers, two species. Lorna. Ilya. Hopelessly in love, yet separated by an ocean of space. Here we are, next to one another. But I feel as if we are separated by an ocean of space. I know, but I don't care. I'm hopelessly in love with you. This summer, they bear their hearts and souls to each other. Ilya, I want you to see who I really am. Oh, Verna. Underneath this mask. Oh, oh, Verna. Verna, 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 wait, wait, baby. Premiering in theaters this lover's moon for one weekend only, Combine and Hegemony. Thank you. I am Asara Moore, your resident romance guru. We will be your hosts for today. Now, you may be wondering, Jim, Ancient Amour, why in the galaxy are you two, like, in the big cushy chairs today? Well, dear listeners, Jorik and Soraya were held up on their way to work. It seems as if there's an incident currently unfolding involving CSEC and Elcor and... Well, let's have them explain it to you, because I'm not sure I fully understand myself. Jorik, darling, you're on the air. Uh, hello, Matriarch Amor. Are you there? Yes. Is Soraya with you as well? <laughs> oh god, yes! And I almost wish I wasn't. Uh, I agree. What's going on out there, you two? Yeah, guys! We didn't bring the report to our listeners live from Jorik's Skycar just for kicks. Give us the deets. Right. Well, um, we're on the ground. CSEC has a no-fly zone set up, and um, I'm I'm really not sure how to put this. There's this um, Elcor, and and he. Um... <laughs> There's a naked Elcor in the crossroad, and he's got a gun. <laughs> <coughs> what? So, apparently, this gentleman wasn't happy with his frozen yogurt order, and he, um, ripped off his clothes? Only after he ripped off the nozzles from the yogurt dispensers. It's everywhere. His gun is the only thing he's wearing. Besides, you know, rebel berry swell. <laughs> Why didn't anyone notice the gun? It's mounted on his back. Frankly, this is gross negligence on behalf of- <laughs> Finally brought out the negotiator. This is about to get so good. Jerk, grab the audio gear. The audio gear? What are you- Here, point this at the yogurt covered weirdo. Quick, 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 quick. Soraya, no. Soraya, yes! <laughs> Do not mock me, puny human. Apologetic. It was not my intention to be mocking, sir. Respectfully, if you do not want to put down the gun, you don't have to. Triumphantly. See, Karen, I have bested not only the frozen yogurt establishment, but also the C-Sec. What on iron is a Karen? I do believe that's a name for a human female, Jem. Oh. So sounds about right. There's a pretty mortified looking lady standing in front of the yogurt shop. Angrily. No, Karen, I am not overreacting. 49 credits per ounce is robbery. With passionate rage. I do not care if it is ethically sourced, Karen. I should not have to pay so much money to make my precious flower happy. Offended. How dare you. 
I did this for you. Hurt. You said you loved my nude body. It appears we are currently witnessing a lover's spat down in the wards this morning. What an interesting way to start the day. Interesting is a word. I might also use fun or fantastic. <laughs> Maybe even thrilling. One of you needs to message me a pic, like A to the S to the AP. For once, I do agree with Jem. The curiosity is overwhelming, and I don't think your words are doing the situation justice. Yeah, alright. Hold on a sec. Jerk, here. I set up the camera. Press rec to record. Are you serious right now? Soraya, I I'm already doing the sound thing. You can't expect me to do anything. Shh. Better idea. Hold it and let me set it up for a live feed. Hmm? Would you look at that? <laughs> oh, oh, um, Kikirin, that's amazing. <laughs> Trust me, this vid feed isn't even half as good as the real thing, I swear. I wish you were here. <laughs> I wouldn't wish this situation on anyone, Soraya. This is very inappropriate, and I for one don't... Is he really wrestling that officer? Oh god. Poor man, oh god. Can I please get some help with this, Soraya? This gear is This really is awful! Heavy. There's double chocolate mouth punch flying everywhere! Jorik, be a professional! I'm trying. Oh, that is not going to come out of the negotiator's uniform. Trust me. Oh, oh, spirits, is... is he... My sweet eyes, he is! I didn't know humans were that strong. What in the world is that officer doing? Also, this gear is that really looks like heavy, a modified Sarah. camel clutch, though I must say I didn't think a human could properly execute that maneuver onto an Elcor. And like, that is the worst hold to use if you were trying to avoid seeing this dude's junk. <laughs> nice. Fool of swagger. Come at me, bro. Negotiations have fallen apart. I need backup now. Those CSEC officers are like a well oiled machine. I'm. I'm kind of impressed. It seems one of them managed to wrestle the gun pack off of his back. Excellent. This situation may be resolving soon, then. Speaking of backs, can you take one of these damn devices from me? Oh, Jarek, you were in the military. You can handle this. Make Regis proud. It's almost over. Or it would be if his lady friend wasn't getting involved. Holy crap, Karen's got a shotgun. Enemies everywhere! Shit! Jarek, the camera! How are these people getting this kind of weaponry onto Sakara Ward? I can't even get clearance to practice in the shooting range with my Kessler II, and these people are smuggling high-grade arms! That seems like a question for CSEC, but I'm inclined to wonder the same. Ooh, I'm smelling scandal. A scandal! Gradular! Let me get my newsman clutch out, gal, because this sounds like a story. For you, maybe. I feel like it might be hard to get a statement out of Seasick right now while they're elbows deep in black and veron bacon peanut D light. Jelly? I love BBQ video. I feel like it might not taste the same if it's served off of a naked Elcor with electrical burns, though. Well, we all have to live a little. Azar! What? I'm just saying that sometimes it pays to venture out of your comfort zone. I'm going to unravel the complicated spool of thread that is your past, even if it kills me. I swear. You're welcome to try, dear. Though you should probably focus on the situation unraveling in front of you first. What? I... Wait. When did they bring in the special response team? Uh, while you were trying to be... What's the term? Nosy? Uh, sticking your nostrils in someone else's business. Excuse me, sir. Ma'am? Excuse you. We're busy. Ma'am, I'm with CSEC. We'll need to confiscate your equipment. You're interrupting. Huzzah, Jem, it looks like we'll be here a little bit longer. Ma'am, I need that footage. CSEC business. Uh, Soraya, maybe you should address the officer. Ma'am, you're on an active crime scene. We need that footage for later investigation. It was a live broadcast, so the footage will be up on the site later, sweetie. Sir, ma'am, open the window. Okay, okay, we're putting the stuff away. Ma'am. No longer recording. We cool? Please remain in the vehicle, you two. Yep. Yep. You got it. Go you. It's cool. I've still got my Omni tool on. Look, guys, can you stall for us? We'll be there soon. I don't think they'll be just stalling, Soraya. We have an interview booked today, remember? Oh, that's right. The interview with... Oh. Oh, no.
Oh, no, no, no. Soraya, please calm down. We can handle the interview for you, darling. It's no trouble at all. Yeah, 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 we got this. <laughs> Leave it to your gal pals for life. No, you can't. I mean, you can. I don't want you to, though. Just, Jem, please, look at who the guest is. Kritzkig Smith? Isn't that, like, that Borcha movie director? <laughs> The one with the super mondo babe hottie is sorry wife? I've never seen his wife, so I'll take your word on it, Jem. But yes, Mr. Smith is a director. He's responsible for movies such as Space Pirates in Space, Me, You, and Your Roommate Fetzkarl, Radioactive Kittens from the Martian Archives, Floob, Seven Rings Around Your Planets. The list is... Ugh. Quite extensive. You have to do a lot of living in 20 years. Though, even for a Vorcha, that is a prolific list of titles. And they're all pure art. Don't start the interview until I get there. Please, you'll be saving all my hopes and dreams if you stall. I don't believe I have the authority to do that, Soraya. That is correct. You do not. You will do the interview when Mr. Smith arrives. No stalling. Harsh. Well, them's the eggshells, sorry. Sorry about that. Don't you dare talk block me on this, Gem. I swear to God, I will hunt you down to the ends of this earth and rip your environment suit off you bolt by f- <clears throat> Right. Well, maybe there's a way we can do this together. The entertainment says as always my kind of thing, you know? I feel like maybe we shouldn't mix roles. Might get confusing for the Av listener, right? Gem! Ugh, fine, Grandma. We can do this your way. All right, sir. Let's tag team this director. We'll hit him hard in a way that satisfies everyone. Deals? Gem. Phrasing. I know what I said. It's not as good as being there, but I'll take it. Oh, don't pout, Soraya. You humans look like pie jacks when you stick your mouth meat out like that. Lipstrike? They're called lips. Sometimes I think you're just messing with me, you know. What? I would never do that, Soraya. Uh, I'm going to miss meeting Crick's Gig Smith, all because some bloody Alcor decided he wanted to bathe in seven layers of Helios Cluster Bomb. I feel like the universe is punishing me for being excited about something for once. Now, Soraya. We all know the universe is a non-sentient, uncaring mess of rocks and life. You're just having a bit of bad luck, dear. What? So you believe in luck, but not karma? I believe in the random nature of life, which I suppose you could equate with luck. And I believe you two are boring me. Two tears. I'm legit leaking optical fluid under this Fabu suit. Jem, your ability to empathize never ceases to amaze me. And your oh-so-subtle sarcasm is always so refreshing, Jory. I hope you're not this rude to Mr. Smith, Jem. Oh, please. I'm a professional, unlike some people. I, like, value my work and actually strive to put out a quality product. Now, what's that supposed to mean, you All right. Settle down, everyone. I understand we're all a bit frustrated, but we need to collect ourselves so that when our guest arrives, we are calm and ready to be the professionals I know we are. Surely nothing weirder can happen today. Gritzkig, I'm in the house. What up, me guys? Oh my. Oh wow. Oh. What? 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 Uh, Mr. Smith? That's a very interesting... Suit? Thanks. It's real, actual human skin flesh. Say so what? Is that legal? <laughs> oh, it's not from actual human. Did not peel off flesh from bow. Suit grown in lab. Very soft material. Very stretchy. Good for Vorcha body. Oh my. How oh, very. Uh, fashion forward. <laughs> This is so neat. <laughs> That's just... Oh, it's neat. <laughs> Think much. Critic Pig wants to look best for interview. 
No, it is a listening show, but must always dress to express. And we appreciate your enthusiasm, Mr. Smith. We really do. But let's not spend the entire time talking about your unique clothing. Let's move on to the interview. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, yes. Let's start. Um, Mr. Smith, Zarai here, reporting from Jerk Skycar. I'll be leading this interview. So sorry I couldn't be there in person to speak with you. Uh, and did, did you say flesh? It's a pleasure, Miss Zaraya. Chris Gig listened much to your voice before a shoot. Very nice show. Oh, oh my goodness. I mean, <laughs> thank, thank you so much. I mean, we were just going to make a living, you know. I mean, I... I, I <laughs> Thank you, sir. I um, I really appreciate the compliment. And thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy, busy schedule to come meet with us, Mr. Smith. Is no issue. Chris Kick not on project right now. In between projects. We'll resume shooting soon. Now, you just released me, you, and your roommate, Fetz Carl, to admittedly mixed reviews. How are you feeling about the completely wrong negativity surrounding your new film? Chris Gick not disheartened. Expecting this, if honest. Chris Gick Smith movies not for everyone. A reasonable viewpoint. Personally, as someone with good taste, I really enjoyed it quite a bit. It was an interesting way to spend six hours, certainly. The 20 minute silence for Ziggurat's cousin's funeral was very poignant and the choreography for the trip to Broadway in New York on Earth. Did you film that on location? Was actual movie magic. Unfortunate, but did not get permission from human embassy to film. So, Chris Gig had idea to film on Citadel instead. A very good Solarian editor. Magic. I'll be honest with you, Mr. Smith. Was not a fan of MYAYRF. I will say, though, the costume design was like hella bala. <laughs> Who designed Tax Big's dress for the ballroom scene? Looked like, kinda like a Geriani off-season. Ah, Bola's turtle have sharp eye. Yes, matriarchic Geriani agreed to let Kritzke dig through her trash before incinerator. Found many good things. Speaking of digging around, Mr. Smith, you're pretty well known for your ability to make more of less. Spice was your first big budget film, but it seems that the cost for Myrif were a little low. What changed? Personal challenge. Some of the detractors said Chris Gig was ruined by money, would not make good films anymore because Chris Gig sold out, wanted to prove hateful's wrong, made Vets Carl with less than 10% of same amount for pirates. That's very impressive. How did you manage to use that little money and still make your deadline? Hard-working team. Very good. Also, not have to pay actor very helpful. That's true. You starred as Fetz Carl, and your wife, Vela, was textbook. I wasn't familiar with your lead Elcor, though. Ah, Gorbin is Vilia's brother. Very good boy, very promising actor. Chris Gig will put him in more, definitely. I would love to see more of him, for sure. And it seems you all working pro bono really panned out very well. So far, the numbers are very, very good. Ah, yes, almost 7,000% return on investment. Really? Has that ever happened before? Only with other Chris Gig Smith production. And so it should come as no surprise to you that Fetz Carl has been nominated for several awards including most unnerving romantic interspecies interaction, which, as our listeners may recall, is an honor already held by Mr. Smith's own Space Pirates in Space. Would love to win a war twice, Jorik. Chris Gig actually had a war in mind when filming. Hope to be nominated again. I can see that. I think the flashback scene with Fetz Carl in Ziggurat's university days really helped push you in front of a Hanar's Keeper. Mm, yes, very good scene. Really proud of part with Fetz Carl and Cake. Tied the whole thing together. It was certainly very touching. I 
think it really helped the viewer understand why Fetz Carl sometimes resented Taxpick, and it made the scene when he jumped in front of the fair and stampede for her that much more meaningful. That was his intent. Chris get very glad Major Gamora can see subtext. Well, you did a very good job connecting all the plot points, so it was easy to follow along, Mr. Smith. Matriarch is too kind, but Kritzkig appreciate Knight's words, especially from Pretty Asari. Mm hmm. Matriarch Amor would like to be a new vid, perhaps? Next project could use new talent. <laughs> I don't believe I have time to dedicate to a new project, but thank you for the offer. Too bad. Could be big draw to theater to have love guru. Now, what's this about a new vid, Mr. Smith? Can you share any tasty details about your newest project? Mm, normally, Chris Gig like to keep mouth meat tight about projects, but all seem interested, so why not? <laughs> New vid will star Wilo Clem and Bragas Turag. Wait, Krog and Sal are in it? Does this mean. Are, are you making a sequel to Space Pirates? Not sequel exactly, more like alternate reimagination. Okay, wow, I am insanely curious now. Please go on! Critics really like Sal and Krog relationship, but vid only give hints. Critics not like lack of payoff. Uh, yeah, there was that fade to black, and that was super unsatisfying. Crit gig understand. Did not expect love to be so popular. So we'll rectify issue with new vid. Do you mind me asking how so? No issue. New vid would be exclusive romance. Oh? Same cast, but new story. Focus on developing relationship. Oh? Will be called Space B Pirates in Space. <laughs> I I'm sorry. Space But Pirates in Space. Exclusive. Many monies to be have in pornographic industry. Wow. Oh. By the goddess. Took idea from Earthian cinematographers. Popular movie get out, person make version of it with sex. Very profitable. So, Chris Kick think, why not be ahead of game? Make home pornography. Um, yes, that's true. But, uh, that's not... What, what, what? Use returns to fund more movies, more pornography. Never need to be in alley to get funds again. Very good. Even me fake name just like Earthians will be Gigacrits. <laughs> wow. So, Mr. Smith, you're using the same actors. Yes, Torag and Wilo, very good for work. Reliable, also willing to get naked. Including the... The Turian Spectre character? The one with the missing leg? Yes, all. Kritzke did not want to exclude anyone. Well, that's... That's commendable, Mr. Smith. Will be good vid, Kritzke, think. Very excited from whole cast. That's... Uh, um... So... Uh, when is filming starting? Ideal, soon as Kritzke leaves studio. Very eager to get started. Oh, I'm sure you are. I don't imagine, um, we have any more questions, Soraya? That, um, yeah, pretty much uncovers everything, I think. Well, Mr. Smith, I believe that's all the time we have. Thanks for having crew. Very fun interview. Thanks much. We'll send out tickets when Space Butt Pirate premiere. Thanks. Bye. Oh, that was good. Good interview, everyone. That's, um, well, that's a wrap. That would depend on your definition of good, Soraya. 
I'm starting to think that I may still be asleep, and this is all a very strange dream. Looks like traffic is starting to clear up. Finally, they subdued both Karen and her boyfriend. Husband? Ugh, whatever. Look, it's over. We'll be in shortly. Jem, do the news. Azar, ugh, do your thing. Zariah, out. Alright then. Hello, novice romantics. It is I, Asara Moore, your leading expert in light- Oh, hold up. Excuse me? You're excused. I know it's hard for the elderly to keep track of things sometimes. Excuse me? Look, I got a new set to do, Nana. Wait your turn. We're running short on time, Gem, and I have three partners that have been graciously holding for my segment. That's fine that you want to peddle your fake romantic advice to innocent, unsuspecting dupes, but like, <laughs> I got a shepherd story and everyone knows those are the real ka -ching. Gem, these people have been waiting for weeks for an opportunity to have a slot on the show. So, I let's talk shepherd, peeps. You know, cute redhead pals around with Krogan and Corian alike? Well, she's in the news again, and it's kind of a doozy. Today, we've got special guests. Celia, Robin, Annie, you're on the air with Asara Moore. Hello. Hello. Now, the three of you called in to talk about your relationship. What seems to be the issue? Well, it's really kind of complicated. See... Syl and I are upset with Anne for- It seems our intrepid commander tracked the rogue Spectre Saren to Vermeer, a planet in the Hawk system, Century Omega Cluster. Some shady stuff was going down on Vermeer, but- Robin, dear, please continue. Uh, oh, okay. So, <clears throat> so, me and Syl have been dating Anne for maybe five years now. I thought we were pretty exclusive, but... It was never agreed upon originally, Rob, and you know it! Well, excuse us for assuming you had the common decency to ask your partners before going off and... The details are classified, as we soon found out! But we do know that Shepard came back from Vermeer with an entire squad of Salarian operatives, including one, Major Kiri. <laughs> Sadly, it seems that the commander did lose one of her own in the process. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams fell in the line of how dare you! Let me out of here, you blue wing! My goodness, there seems to be a bit of feedback on the mic. How strange. Darlings, please continue. And remember, we're almost out of time, so let's hustle, shall we? <clears throat> it's not the easiest thing to say, because emotions are running pretty high right now, but... No, it's very easy to say. We're having issues with one person in this relationship. Why are you so whiny? It's not a big deal. Annie, it's a very big deal. I'm surprised you keep brushing this off, and I'm a little hurt, actually. You're overreacting like you always do. Both of you, you're just ganging up on me. <laughs> you didn't seem to have a problem getting ganged up before, did you? Now please, remember, there may be young listeners. Do you mind explaining on why you're upset? And quickly. Well, I... I don't really know how to say it, but, uh, uh, Celia. This Trampasari decided she's going to skulk the extra net looking for quick hookups and bring them back to our home where our son sleeps. Who are you calling a tramp, you little reptilian skank? I'll cut your damn frills off, you- Try it, you blue mother- Young listeners! You know what? No, I don't care. I'm sick of you and your bouncy little blue ass traipsing around the galaxy like you owe Like you haven't brought over strange Vorge into the house before. I saw you staring at Kritzkig. That was one time. 